ಮಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತಾಂ ವಂದೀ ಗುರುಕರಂ ಪುರಾಂ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯಂ ಕರುಣಾಲಯಂ ನಮಾಯುಧೋತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರಂ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರಂ ಶಂಕರಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೀತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವದ್ವ್ಯಾತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತೈನ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಗುಣಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವತೀ ಸಂಸ್ತುಮಾಶಾವಹೈ ಏ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಶಾಂತಶಾಂತಿ ಧಾತುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವ ಸಂಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ಜೀವಾಖ್ಯಾತಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಸುಬಂತಾದೇರ್ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮನೆ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದಂಡಮವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವ ಮಂಡಸ್ಯಾಂತಸ್ತಿ ಮೇ ಲೋಕ ಸಪ್ತದ್ವೀಪಾಚ ಮೇ ದಿನಿ okay so anyway since only uh, two people are there we'll not do exercises whenever there are more people more people we'll do exercises um finish the fourth verse and in continuation ke guna ha katham badha badhanti idi uchyate so which are the gunas and how do they bind it was said earlier that they bind so the gunas are talked about next and the particular manner in which the guna influences the jeeva that is mentioned here sattva rajastama iti guna prakriti sambhavah nibadhanti maha baho dehe dehi nam avyayam so the gunas are sattva rajas and tamas ಇತಿ ಗುಣ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಥ್ರೀ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಸಂಭವ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಆರ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಮಾಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸತ್ವ ರಜಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ತಮಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ರಿಮೂವ್ ಸತ್ವ ರಜಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ತಮಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಮಾಯಾ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಸತ್ವ ರಜಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ತಮಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ then they are transactable or they'll have effect their effects are seen therefore sattvam rajas rajaha and tamaha iti gunaha these are the gunas they are prakriti sambhava and they he mahabaho nibhagnanti whom behinam behinam avyayam who is supposed to be avyaya dehah asya asti iti dehinam but one who has taken deha also he is avyaya kshetrajna once he has taken deha associated with the deha he has become as though segmented ಆಲ್ದು ಅವ್ಯಯ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ದೋ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಕರ್ತ ಭೋಕ್ತ ಮಂತ ಜ್ಞಾತ ಶ್ರೋತ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದೇಹ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ದೇಹ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ದೇಹ ಆ ನಖ ಪರ ಪರ್ಯಂತೇಭ್ಯ ಅಪ್ ಟು ದಿ ಟಿಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ನೇಲ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಈ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ದಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಶರೀರಂ ದಿಸ್ ಶರೀರ್ ಈ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ ಮಚ್ thereby although avyaya not changing he has somehow become segmented as a dehi and dehinam sattva rajas tama iti gunaha prakriti sambhavaha gunaha nibadhanti so the anvaya is iti prakriti sambhavaha gunaha these are all first case and ಇತಿ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಸಂಭ ಗುಣ ವಿಚಾರ ಸತ್ವ ರಜಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ತಮಸ್ ಇತಿ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕೊಟೆ ಕೊಟೇಶನ್ಸ್ ನಿಬದ್ಧಂತಿ ಸಾರಿ ಓಕೆ ಸಮ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನಿಬದ್ಧಂತಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೂರಲ್ ಹೇ ಮಹಾಭಾವ ಸಂಬೋಧನ
वेर देहे पिंडि देहा देहिनम अव्ययम तो गुणा हा अव्ययम देहिनम ऑल्डो अव्यया अव्ययम देहिनम निभद नंति and then you can add this he mahabaho earlier somewhere here he mahabaho satyam rajatamaiti prakriti sambhavaha gunaha dehe dehe avyayam dehinam nipadanti bhashya satyam rajaha tamaha iti evam namana namanah gunaha एवं नामान है इस कंपाउंड एवं नामान है एवं इन दिस मैनर एंड एवं नाम ये शाम ते एवं नामान है दोस्त जो हैव सच कैंड ऑफ नेम सत्वम रजस रजा हा तमा हा दिस कैंड ऑफ नेम्स दोस्त गुणाज विच हैव दे आर कॉल्ड एस सत्व रजस एंड तमस and what is the meaning of gunaha generally gunaha in tarka shastra is rupa rasa ityadi or vedanta shastra also generally guna when you say shabda gunaha akashasya shabda and so on gandhavati prithvi so gandhavati prithvi when you say gandha is guna of prithvi thereby guna can be misunderstood so sattva rajas tamas are not those kind of gunas they are not qualities or properties what are these so, gunah iti paribhashika shabda it's a technical word paribhashika means technical it has to be understood in context you cannot just take gunah and uh, use the uh, rudhi artha even if you know the word you have to understand in context what does it mean na rupa diva dravya shrita gunah रूप रस गंध ऑल दीज आर द्रव्य आश्रिता दे स्टे इन द्रव्य तार्किकाज विल टॉक अबाउट द्रव्य इन दो द्रव्य गुणा द्रव्य विल बी गुणी एंड देर विल बी गुणा सच एज रूप शब्द रस ऑल दीज सो रूप विल स्टे इन अग्नि सो अग्नि विल बी अ गुणी विथ रूप गुणा सो रूप विल बी अग्नि आश्रिता अग्नि आश्रिता हा अग्न्याश्रिता रूपम, but this is not like that. सत्त्वराजस तमा है, is not like that. नचा गुणागुणीनो हो अन्यत्तम अत्रव्यक्षितम्, neither is it intended as when you say गुणा, like रूपा, द्रव्य which is अग्नि is separate from रूपा, रूपा is गुणा and द्रव्य is गुणी. There is a भेद between as per naya because there is a bheda between guna and guni they have nitya sambandha samavaya sambandha they have nitya sambandha and they are different however <coughs> sorry nacha guna guni no ho anyattvam atra vivakshitam that is not intended here when you say sattva rajas tamaha okay these are gunas who is the who is the guni if there is a guni that guna and guni are different सत्व रजस एंड तमह गुण एंड गुणी आर डिफरेंट दैट इज नॉट इंटेंडेड हियर तस्मा गुणाहातंत्रा क्षेत्र प्रति अविद्यात्मक क्षेत्र निबद्धनती इव सो भगवान भाष्यकर से ऑल्दो भगवान कृष्ण से निबद्धनती इट नॉट वर्क लिटरली So when Bhagwan Krishna is saying nibadnanti, he assumes what you understood so far. You are holding on to that. So sattva rajas tama gunas cannot bind dehinam. Really, they cannot bind, but they bind as do. As long as one thinks I am associated with the deha, the deha dharmas will as do bind. Thereby, samsari. But if you ask, oh, the, dehinam is basically kshetra gnya. क्षेत्रज्ञ इज फ्री हाउ कैन क्षेत्रज्ञ बी बाउंड हाउ कैन सत्वरजस्तम गुण बाइंड देही हु इज क्षेत्रज्ञ दिस इज गोइंग टू कम अप एज एन ऑब्जेक्शन आल्सो बट हियर इटसेल्फ भगवान भाषिकराज निबद्धनती इव 
निबद्धनंति इव क्षेत्रज्ञ बिकॉज दे ही इज क्षेत्रज्ञ सो तस्मा गुणा इव दे आर लाइक गुणा वॉट इज दॉमनैलिटी बिट्वीन दि गुणा दट वी अदरवाइज अंडरस्टैंड एंड दीज गुणा नित्य परतंत्र दे आर ऑलवेज डिपेन्डेंट ऑन समथिंग एल्स Bheda is not indicated here. I mean, there is no differentiation focused upon here. However, nitya paratantra ha, nitya nitya paratantra to me is the focus. Gunas are dependent on something else. Being dependent on something else, as soon as gunas are objectifiable, meaning gunas can be seen to be existent, then they are dependent on someone to exist. Who are who is that someone? That someone has to be Kshetrajna. So Kshetrajna prati nitya paratantra being dependent upon Kshetrajna, the gunas bring this Kshetrajna as though to life because they want someone to depend upon. They bind that one they cling on to. They bind him as though. For example, you no, know, there there is a child at home, so he is dependent on the parent. whoever is a caretaker now caretaker is bound by the child caretaker cannot just you know i'll do whatever i want has to consider the presence of the child so the child will bind the caretaker by merely clinging on to the caretaker similarly gunaha ivat nitya paratantraha being dependent on someone kshetrajna they are dependent on the kshetrajna prati अविद्यात्मकुणात्मिक माया देर बाय अविद्यात्मक वंस अविद्या कम्स इन एसोसिएशन विथ समथिंग बेस्ड ऑन अविद्या कम्स इन एसोसिएशन विथ समथिंग even if it is dependent on something else that something will be as though bound kshetrajna may be by swarupa free but still avidya and avidya karya this gunas clinging on to kshetrajna they are bind why do they cling because they are objective well they are they are there as long as those satva rajas to gunas are given reality in the mere presence of kshetrajna they have dependency to dependency to come up once they come up they are they are going to bind him but what is that nibadnanti iva tam aspadi krutya atmanam pratilabante iti nibadnanti iti uchyate why iva if it is iva then why do you say nibadnanti at all don't say don't say that they bind why do you say bind and then you say oh as though bind then don't say bind they it binds so he says tam aspadi krutya taking the support of that kshetrajna kshetrajnam tam aspadi krutya atmanam pratilabante atmanam pratilabante they, they get the being they borrow the satta and they then they attain their attain as do attain their presence atmanam pratilabante means reflexive they attain presence as do प्रकृति प्रकृति और प्रधान अविद्या इंडिविजुअल लेवल and being born of that maya nibadnanti iva he mahabaho again bhagwan bhashyakara says iva so that we don't lose sight of that iva he mahabaho now after 13 chapters are over bhagwan bhashyakara thinks that you know 13 chapter was complicated krishna has also is down the chapter a little it is simpler comparatively much simpler than the 13th chapter so bhashyakara also gets a little break and he can focus on something which he has not focused on so far so mahabahu he gives a 
it has been used multiple times but here he decides to give a vyutpatti what is mahabaho what is the vigraha vakya for this samasa mahanto bahu yasya samahabahu one who has mahan bahu what is this mahan mahan mahanto is samartha taro having superior comparatively better better capabilities than other others that is mahan mahanta mahatta is that and what is that basically ajanu pralambau samartha taro arms will be for kshatriya especially the arms have to be long that is you know bhagwan ramachandra also is called as what ajanu bahu hands reach up to the knees very strong arms that is kshatriya here so huge arms thereby mahanto bahu yasya mahanto is samartha taro how samartha by going as long as the knees ajanu pralambu it is said you know there is a belief system if the hands are as long and if they reach the knees then that person will become a king in a kingly position at least i remember that uh, said from the from my childhood yasya sa mahabahu hu he mahabaho sambodhana dehe sharire dehe sharire deha is pullinga sharira is napunsaka linga same meaning dehinam meaning deha vantam dehi is dehi is ini pratyanta ini has the meaning of matu so matu parthe ini pratyanta he explains that by saying dehinam ini pratyanta is same as matu panta deha vantam in dvitiya vibhakti of course deha van will be dehi in prathama then dehinam in dvitiya deha vantam matu in matu pending word in dvitiya so dehi dehinau dehinah dehinam dehinau dehinah while matu pilikness dehavan dehavantau dehavantah and dehavantam in dvitiya ek vachana dehavantau dehavatah in bahu vachana it become dehavatah avyayam avyayam in avye avyatvam what is what is this avyaya generally we say translated as indeclinable basically unchanging that is the real meaning avyayatvam cha uktam and avyayatvam avyayatvam has been talked about how anaditvat nirgunatvat ityadi nirgunatvat avyayam we had seen earlier in the 13th chapter anadi and nirguna also ityadi shlokena ननु देही न लिप्यते इति उक्तम सो पूर्व पक्षी सडनली वेक्स अप देही न लिप्यते इज देही देह अस्य स्थिति देही क्षेत्रज्ञ क्षेत्रज्ञ न लिप्यते इज नेवर टेंटेड नॉट अफ्लिक्टेड इति उक्तम तत्कथम इह निबद्धन्ति इति अन्यथा उच्यते देन हाउ इज इट दैट हियर इन दिस चैप्टर आफ्टर सेइंग दैट इन द 13th चैप्टर towards the end you are quoting only this part 31st shloka but there it's a dehina lipyate has been said anaditvat nirgunatva ite then dehina lipyate suddenly now here in the 14th chapter barely few verses have gone and you say that nibadnanti dehinam tatkatam yah nibadnanti iti anyatha uchyate anyatha another way contrary 180 degrees apart परिहृतम अस्मिहृतमस्मिहृतमस्मिहृतमस्मिहृतमस्मिहृतमस्मिहृतमस्मिहृतमस्मिहृतमस्मिहृतमस्मिहृतमस्मिहृतमस्मिहृतमस्म
that is the fifth verse tatra satvadinam satvasya eva tavat lakshanam ucchate satva rajas and tamas have to be talked about so first tavat satvadinam among these three satva rajas tamas satvasya eva only of the satva first of all only satva is discussed and its lakshana is characteristic ucchate what is the characteristic of satva so it is said tatra satvam nirmalatva prakashakam namayam sukha sanghena baddhati jnana sanghena chanagha so tatra tatra teshu tatra is teshu among these among these three among those three so these those three tatra satvam nirmalatva प्रकाशा प्रकाशक अनामय सुख संगेन बध्नाती ज्ञान संगेन च अनघ अनघ इज संबोधन पापरहित सो हे अनघ तत्व बिकॉज बध्नाती इज ए already it has been said satvam vadnati prakashakam anamayam vadnati so this becomes the object now the dehi who is kshetrajna who is prakashaka sarva prakashaka he lights up everyone in it, his own presence atma brings everything else to life objectifies everything and in mere presence mere presence gives it satta and spurti thereby atma is what now atma is dehi and thereby uh dehi and thereby prakashak also and anamaya by nature anamaya amaya rahita amaya is actually amaya can be some kind of a affliction disease or affliction or sorrow even thereby anamayam is nanj that which does not have any amaya amaya rahita anamaya prakashak dehinam बध्नाति हाउ सुख संगेन एंड वॉट इज द नेचर ऑफ सत्व निर्मल सो निर्मल सुख संगेन बध्ना बीइंग निर्मल इट विल नॉट ब्रिंग समथिंग एल्स इट विल ब्रिंग ओनली सुख सत्व विल ब्रिंग सुख दैट इज द आइडिया बट सुख विच इज ऑब्जेक्टिफाइबल विल ऑल्सो बाइंड we have seen this in the sixth chapter gudartha deepika also when we revisited after i think uh, maybe 12th chapter or something we revisited sixth chapter and we saw gudartha deepika there bhagwan madhusudan saraswati talks about samadhi also binding and there he quoted bhagwan man uh, karika kara bhagwan karika kara gaudapadacharya who says in his karika to mandukya upanishad that the samadhi anubhava will also bind if one has has a taste for rasa swad if you partake rasa that can bind and that rasa is what sukha rasa samadhi just when one is about to enter nirvikalpaka samadhi the savikalpaka samadhi itself will give rasa sukha rasa if rasa swada if you get used to if you want it that is another desire which will bind and therefore sukha will also bind basically what is the meaning objectifiable sukha will bind the person can bind will bind rather can bind 
देर फोर निर्मल इज दि हेतु हेतव पंचमी सत्व प्रकाशक अनामय सुखसंगेन बद्धा एंड देर बाय वॉट विल हेपन सुख मैनिफेस्टेड सुख विल ब्रिंग संग ऑफ दि will drag the kshetrajna can drag this kshetrajna to associate with that sukha and thereby badhati this is the means or this is also hetu some kind of a hetu as well jnana sangena cha not only that sattva can give because it is nirmala it will it can give sukha meaning it makes possible for the ananda swarup of atma to manifest other thing is there is chit swarupa also so chit swarupa also manifests in the form of objectifiable jnana therefore jnana sangena cha and through association with jnana also binds so the anvaya is he anagha anagha is papa rahita we saw anagha tatra प्रकाशक अनामय विच इज वॉट देहिनम ब्रिंग अनुवृत्ति फ्रॉम अबो इट इज देहिनम देहिनम बद्धा and how jnana sangena so we can say sattvam nirmalatvat we can say nirmalatvat that being the nirmala nirmalatvat sattvam sukha sangena sukha sangena ज्ञान ज्ञान संगेन च प्रकाशक अनामय देहिन बद्धा निर्मल वॉट इज निर्मल एक्सापल स्फटिक मणिव प्रकाशक अनामय निरुपद्रव सत्व तबद्धा so spatikamani spatikamani is the crystal now the crystal although clear prakashakam anamayam nirupadravam anamayam is what there is no upadrava rahita nirupadravam is upadrava so upadrava there's a you know there's a meaning which we know upadrava sattvam tad nibadnati sattva binds this prakashaka anamaya how it is this patika mani river nirmalatva so nirmalatva we can say nirmalatva patika mani river nirmalatva because patika mani does not really give prakasha prakashakam atmanam or dehinam which is anamaya nirupadrava sattvam tan nibadnati sattva binds tat these katham how how does it do it सुखसंगेन हाउट इज सुख संग सुखी अहम विषय भूत सुख से विषयिणी आत्मनी संश्लेषापादन मृषा एव सुखे संजनम सो सुख संगेन सुख संग इज दंग हाउ अहम सुखी आई एम हैपी दिस इट सेल संग एसोसिएशन इज सुख इज वेन यू सी मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ सुख when the sukha starts manifesting in the antakarna somehow i think i am sukhi although the sukha vritti is in the antakarna i am drashta sukha drashta but somehow the sakshi bhuta me somehow associates as aham sukhi that sukha has nothing to do with me sukha is really the manifestation of my ananda swarupa because sattva 
the antakkarana has pre predominantly become sattvika sattva is born it is predominantly the focus right now which is the nature of the mind now mind has configured itself as though lot of with lot of clarity when that happens jnana can also take place and ananda swarupa can shine forth better than it was earlier because of rajas and tamas clouding there is no clouding of rajas and tamas therefore sukha manifests in the antakkarana but it is still in the antakkarana antakkarana dharma somehow i misunderstand i think that i am happy thereby sukhi aham iti sukasanga tena sukasangena vishaya bhutasya sukasya what has happened here though it is vishaya bhuta sukha due to some vishaya association due to prarabdha sam sukha is due for the person so atma sukha manifests by that object being attained one attains that object vishaya and vishaya sukha which is really atma sukha manifesting once the vishaya craving drops off because of attaining the vishaya then the atma sukha manifests in the antakkarana that is called as vishaya sukha however so vishaya bhutasya sukasya vishayini vishayini is again ini pratyanta vishayasya sthiti vishayi this vishayi happens to be atma atmani in oneself basically in oneself samshlesha padanam mrusha eva association in the vishayi atma of sukha is mrusha mrusha is mithya what is that samshlesha padanam as you know lending association bringing about this contact association or contact is all false it is not real because the atma cannot have any contact niravayatvat mrusha eva sukhe sanjanam iti so sukhe sanjanam association unto happiness is mrusha and what is that really it is avidya it is avidya meaning avidya karya here avidya has to be understood as erroneous understanding here sa esha avidya sa esha avidya sa esha avidya this misunderstanding does take place called as avidya meaning sukha being there in the antakkarana association with sukha vishaya sukha as my being happy is mrusha that is avidya nahi vishaya dharma why is it avidya why do you say it is erroneous knowledge because nahi vishaya dharma ha vishayina ha bhavati vishaya dharma this vishaya bhutasya antakkarana sa dharma or elsewhere vishaya where you see sukha somehow it comes about and manifests in antakkarana whether you consider it as vishaya sukha or antakkarana gata sukha that cannot be the vishayi sukha drishya sukha cannot be drashta sukha whatever drishta sukha specifically but generally dharma any dharma of the vishaya cannot be vishayi dharma vishayinah na bhavati ichchadi cha drityantam kshetrasya eva vishayasya dharma ha now vishaya which is outside you have to apply this word vishaya to each and everything which is outside you initially when i am the body mind sense complex i consider vishaya as ghatapatadi prapancha gata vishaya outside but then ichcha adi ichcha is also vishaya dhrityantam ending with the dhriti buddhi is also vishaya all those are kshetrasya vishayasya dharma ha ichcha so not uh, sorry dhriti is not buddhi dhriti is fortitude so ichcha and dhriti are dharmas here i am saying dharma vishayasya vishaya is ichcha is a vishaya dharma because vishaya is no longer outside now this vishaya is no longer outside the body mind sense complex the vishaya is outside me the objectifier drashta therefore drigdrishya viveka is needed i am druk drishya is vishaya which is that anything that has ichcha 
or dhriti so all this which are mentioned earlier in the earlier patha ichchadi dhrityantam ending with dhriti ribhi all these which i have mentioned they are all kshetrasya dharma ha the kshetra dharma cannot be kshetra is vishaya vishaya it is an object objectifiable kshetra and kshetra dharma cannot be the vishayi dehi vishayi dehi atma dharma because it has already been said ichchadi charityam kshetrasya in the 13th chapter it was said kshetra kshetra nyo in the kshetra dharma is wrote ichchadi dhrityantam entire listing is given they are vishaya dharma kshetrasya dharma means vishayasya dharma iti uktam bhagavata therefore ataha avidyaya eva swakiya dharma bhutaya vishay vishaya viveka lakshanaya aswatma bhute suke sanjayati eva there is an association sanjayati suke sanjayati associates with sukha not with sukha unto sukha saptami unto sukha one associates as do eva so again association is not real eva so kshetra dharma sukha which is there kshetra dharma sukhe vishaya dharma sukhe sanjayati eva how why avidyaya reasoning is avidyaya eva due to avidya itself one associates with the sukha also as one son dharma swakiya dharma bhutaya avidyaya avidya is also what स्वकीय वंशोन विद्या स्वकीय धर्म भूतया अविद्या इज नॉट समवन एल्स इज माया विद्या एंड माया विद्या बीइंग माय धर्म ड्यू टू दैट व्हाट हैपेंस आई एम अफेक्टेड बाय अविद्या देयरफॉर अविद्या कार्य व्हिच इज विक्षेप अविद्या थ्रोस एन आवरण ऑन मी एंड देयर बाय विक्षेप इज व्हाट आई take as my own swarupa or my dharma thereby vishay vishayi vishaya is kshetra vishayi is me really kshetra jnya there is no viveka aviveka so avidya lakshana is what it does not allow viveka to take this ajnana or vidya virodhini avidya avidya is vidya virodhini being opposed to vidya vidya what kind of vidya right now viveka viveka is vidya starts with that viveka then that will lead to vairagya and atmanatma viveka is the first viveka not first one of the vivekas needed nitya nitya viveka atmanatma viveka again kshetra kshetra jnya viveka when you keep on continuing you land on विषय एंड विषय विवेक ऑल्सो क्षेत्र इज विषय विषय इज क्षेत्र विषय इज मी आत्मा विषय इज अनात्मा विषय इज क्षेत्र सो विषय विषय विवेक इज नॉट पॉसिबल ड्यू टू अविद्या दैट इज इट्स रियल वर्क इट्स वर्क इज दैट देर फो विषय विषय अविवेक लक्षण या अविवेक इज इट्स वेरी characteristic effect so vishaya vishayi viveka lakshanaya swakiya dharma bhutaya avidyaya eva aswatma bhute sukhe sanjayati eva one associates with sukha which is not one's own aswat aswatma bhute not swatma bhuta avidya may be swakiya but aswatma bhute is aswakiya not mine sukha is not mine sukha is avidya precedes this sukha to be claimed as mine avidya has to precede so avidya is mine all right but sukha is not mine then once i keep on working on that then avidya will also go away because i have started working on viveka viveka will grow vidya will grow once vidya grows strong enough it will counter avidya also then i'll not say swakiya dharma avidya goes away till then avidya is mine but all the manifested is not mine asaktam niva karoti then one you know keeps on getting attached to it as though attached eva again eva 
asaktam iva karoti then uh, then what happens uh, asaktam iva karoti is what here as do attach um, yeah asaktam iva karoti asangam saktam iva karoti asaktam iva karoti means what one who is asanga makes him sakta attached asanga is there is no sak there is no attachment one who does not have any attachment it makes him as do attached eva again eva karoti asukhinam sukhinam eva and then one who is not sukhi in the sense what sukha is manifested sukha ananda is unmanifest so asukhinam one who cannot be objectified one who cannot have objectifiable sukha because he cannot have any association with anything even sukha that kind of an atma it makes sukhinam iva that kind of myself it makes as though happy atma cannot be happy happiness is very nature of atma then further we cannot gain any happiness per se by objectifying sukha which is manifest due to vishaya or whatever tatha similarly jnana sangena cha and sattva will also make jnana possible therefore jnana sangena cha badhnati jnana miti sukha sacharyat kshetrasya eva vishayasya antakaranasya dharma na atmana and jnana is also what jnana is sukha sa sukha sacharyat sukha sahacharya not sahacharya sahacharyat sahachari sahachari so sahachari sahachari not sahachari sahachari goes together it 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 goes together sahachari is that which goes together and here it is what jnana sanga jnana sanga like sukha sanga here also you have ज्ञान संग सुख साहचर्य सहचर्य धर्म तद्धिता विल बी साहचर्य बिकॉज हियर इट इज वॉट इज सहचर्य इन दी श्लोक सुख संगेन बदनाती ज्ञान संगेन च सो इन दि अन्वय ऑलसो यू कैन सी दट इज सहचर्य गोइंग टुगेदर इन दि अन्वय ज्ञान संगेन एंड च गिव ब्रिंग्स इन सहचार so such sahacharya sukha sahacharya charya being along with this sukha shabda shabda also and we can say padartha also either way pada and padartha both meanings are okay because it is together kshetrasya eva vishayasya dharma antakaranasya kshetra which is vishaya objectifiable the object itself and antakarana is an object thereby antakrana which is objectifiable it is its dharma sukha just like uh, jnana just like sukha is also antakrana dharma na atmana this is refuting the tarkika's uh, erroneous ka- darshana conclusion that jnana sukha ityadi are atma dharma they are antakrana dharma not atma dharma atma dharma tve sanganupapatte he if it is आत्मधर्म इफ इट इज आत्मधर्म वॉट इज दट ज्ञान इफ इट इज मेन्ट एज दी धर्म ऑफ आत्मा देन संग संग दिस संग विच इज सेट इज नॉट पॉसिबल सिलुक एट दिस ज्ञान संगे ने एज बीन सेट Sukha Sangha also, but here in Nyana Sangha he explains Nyana if it is Atma Dharma, then Atma Dharma cannot have association with Atma again. Atma cannot associate with Atma Dharma; it is already associated. Dharma meaning Guna, Guna Guni no ho Nitya Sammanda. Now if there is a Nitya Sammanda. then how can you have jnana and the jnana sambandhi atma how can they have sangha they cannot have sangha sangha is possible with something which is separable which can be separated and nayayika says no 
Sukha is Atma Dharma. If Sukha is Atma Dharma, Jnana is Atma Dharma, then how will you have Sangha with Jnana and Sukha? Sangha is not possible. It is already your Dharma. With your Dharma, you cannot have again Sangha. So this is a refutation. The verse itself refutes Naya Eka Paksha. So Bhagavan Bhashakara says, if it is Atma Dharma, if it is Atma Dharma, then Atma Dharma Tve Sangha Anupapatte. Sangha cannot be talked about. Bandha Anupapatte is true. Bandha is also not possible. So Badnati has been said. How through su Sukha Sangha and Jnana Sangha? If it is Atma Dharma, then how can Dharma association be possible? And further, there will be Bandha due to that. How will it be? There will be no possibility of Sangha also and no possibility of Bandha also. Thereby, it will be Praptasya Nishedha. That this should not be happen. Praptasya Ukti also. Uh, Apraptasya, sorry. Apraptasya Ukti and Apraptasya Nishedha also is expected. Bhagavan is saying Sukha Sangena Badnati, which itself is an impossibility. If you take Nayayika Paksha, Sukha Sangha, how Sukha Atma Dharma Sukhena Atma bad, Badnati. Sangha also is possible and Bandha is also possible as per Krishna. But then Nayayika, if he says no, Sukha is Atma Dharma, Jnana is Atma Dharma, then Sangha will it be possible? Why does Bhagavan talk about Sangha at all? So it is contradictory to Bhagavan's Vachana. And Bandhana is also not possible because Sangha is not possible. Therefore, there will be no particular sattva creating something anymore. It is not possible if you take Nayayika's darshana. Sukhe eva jnana do sangha mantavya. And just like with sukha, jnana also should be considered in the same manner, sangha mantavya. So that's the sixth verse. Continuing with Rajas now, Rajo Ragatmakam Vidhi, Trutna Sangha Samudhavam, Tanni Badnati Kaunteya, Karma Sangena Dehinam. So Rajaha, what happens? Ragatmakam Vidhi. No, this Rajas to be of the nature of Raga. Raga is its characteristic. Definable characteristic is Raga. When Rajas comes in, then Raga will start working with the may you know and what is this trishna sangha samudbhavam sattva is what sattva sattvam is what we is going to lead lead to sukha and jnana and then it will still bind Rajas, however, what will happen? Ragatmakam vidhi, it will bring about likes, etc. And Raga, once it comes up, then Trishna, Trishna Sangha Samudhva, this Trishna, the craving, actually, other way around, sorry, Trishna Sangha Samudhvam Ragatmakam Rajas. Rajas says, Vidhi me, may you know Rajas as Ragatmaka. And what Raga is what? Manifestation of of karma. So manifestation of karma, which is Trishna, desire. So the desire craving, craving association with craving, Trishna Sangha. You keep on craving. What happens? Then finally that Raga will manifest. Let me act it out. Then karma. So Trishna Sangha, Sangha with Trishna will bring about this rajas to manifest in the form of raga and this is how you have to understand it says bhagavan tan nibadnati i am not making an anvaya here tan nibadnati he kaunteya karma sangena dehinam and then what happens karma sangena once raga manifests due to trishna being there in fact this is uh, uh, also said uh, in the earlier chapter it is mentioned you know uh, just trying to recall. Huh, Vishaya Sangasteshu Upajayate. So one who keeps on thinking about Vishaya Sangha Teshu Upajayate. 
Sangat Sanjayate Kamaha Kamat Krodho Bijayate. So then it goes as Krodha, Lobha, Moha, all this is possible based on whether or not one gets the, one meets one's Raga. If one meets it, then it will lead to Lobha. If one does not meet it, then Krodha. So the verse talks about Krodha, the other Paksha has to be understood there. So one who keeps on thinking about Vishaya. When Vishaya Sakti is there, that is Trishna. So Vishaya Trishna will create, create Sangha. That Sangha will give rise to Raga, which is the definition of Rajas itself, Ragatmakam. Then it will lead to Karma. One wants to meet this Raga. And then flip side also can be taken here. Dvesha comes in also, one has to avoid it. For avoidance also, one has to do Karma. So, Dehinam Tan Nibadnati. How? Karma Sangina. Tat Rajas. Rajas is Napunsakalinga, therefore Tat. Tat Rajas. Karma Sangina Dehinam Nibadnati. He counted. It binds through association with Karma. Rajaha is what? Ragatmakam. And what is Raga there? Ranjanath Ragaha. Raga is called Raga because it brings in Ranjana. Ranjana means it colors. Ranj, Ranj Rage. Ranj Rage is a Dhatu. So Raga is derived from Ranj Rage. I think Ghaim Pratyansa Shabda. So what will it do? It will color the mind. One cannot think straight when one has likes. That is why we have biases. Everyone has biases. And due to biases, we can't think it. We already have a colored mind. Either we say this person is good, this person is bad, this thing is good, this th thing is bad. I already have a colored eye. Colored mind, basically. So, Ranjanath Ragaha Gairikadi Vat Ragatmakam Vidhi Jani. Vidhi means Jani, may you know. Lotlakara Madhya Purusha Ekochana. Gairika, Gairi is Gairika. Gairika is uh, a dye. So, like a dye colors, Raga will color the mind. Like a dye colors cloth, Raga will color the mind. And what is this Raga? Trishnas, trishna Sangha Samudhavam. Trishna is Aprapta Bhilayashaha. Aprapta. Apraptishu vastushu visheshu abhilasha. That is Trishna. Craving is what? Wanting abhilasha. Desire towards aprapta. What I do not have. I may already have. I may have a lot of dhana. But still I want more. So that more that I want is aprapta. What I have is mine. But I want more. So therefore that more is aprapta. There I, towards that aprapta I have abhilasha, that is trishna. Craving. Asangaha prapte vishaye manasa prati, priti lakshana saunshlesha. What is saunshlesha? He is explaining. Asanga. Asanga prapte vishaye. When there is sangha, when there is sangha, then what will happen? Uh, Prapte, Prapte Vishaye towards uh, an attained object. So, Asanga, actually, Asanga is Asanga is Prapte Vishaye Manasa Preeti Lakshana Samshlesha. So, Samshlesha is the explanation for Asanga, which is the explanation for Trishna itself. Trishna is Asanga. Oh, sorry. Trishna and Asanga, uh, not Trishna is Asanga, Trishna, so Trishna Sangha has been said. Bhagavan Bhashikara splits this as Trishna and Asanga. So he adds, uh, he splits this as Trishna plus Asanga is Trishna Sangha. That is Asanga. So I was trying to think where is the word here. This is Mula. Asanga is Prapte Vishe Manasa Preeti Lakshana Samshlesha. Association. Samshlesha is association. What kind of association? Association. Of Preeti. Preeti is liking. Love towards that. The mind has association of a like or love towards something. What is that? Vishaya. Which is a prapte vish, prapta vishaya. 
So Trishna is what? So Bhagavan Bhashekara is uh, bringing in more meaning. I said Aprapta. There, I, there itself I explained Prapta because I, I looked at Sangha. Bhagavan Bhashekara is splitting this as Trishna is where you have not attained it yet. So Trishna is Aprapta Abhilasha. And Asanga is Prapta Samshlesha. If you do not have it, then you have craving towards it. Wanting it is craving. That is called as Trishna. And if you have it, then Prapte Vishay, what you already have, the Preeti Lakshana, the love towards what you already have is called as Asanga, which is Samshlesha. That is an association. So he gets both meanings in this word. Trishna is Aprapta Vishay uh, Abhilashaha. And asanga is prapta visheshu preeti lakshana samshlesha. Born out of that samudbhava is ragatmaka rajaha. So trishna sanga yoho, meaning trishna and asanga, both are there. Trishna sanga yoho samudbhavam, trishna sanga samudbhavam. Born of these two is trishna sanga samudbhavam, that is samasa tannibadnati tad rajaha, that rajas. Binds what binds the uh, dehina dehi binds the dehi dehinam nibadnati he kaunte karma sangena how by association through karma the person will be bound once once acts upon it he is bound drishta drishtarthe shu karma su sanjanam tat parata karma sangha what is karma sangha karma sangha is defined as Drishta, drishta, artheshu. Drishta and adrishta. What is seen or unseen? Her, generally, adrishta is what? Something you have heard in the Shastra. Or laukik also. Someone tells you oh, there is a place like this. You should go, you know. Once in a lifetime, you should go to this place. So there is, there is adrishta vishaya now. For that adrishta, you would have to do karma. So drishta and adrishta, artha, padartha, teshu, padartheshu, artheshu. Karma su sanjanam. There is karma, karma which is done. So, towards those drishta drishta, karma su sanjanam tat parata. So, karma su can be taken as si drishta adrishta artha yesham. So, artha is not uh, padartha, artha is purpose. So, I will make a correction there. Because karma su, instead of taken different, both are in samana dikaranyam. So I can put an equal to here, although it is not a mula. Drishta drishta artheshu karma su, meaning karma which has drishta or adrishta as artha. Can be purpose also, padartha also, but it is in samana dikaranyam. This is a bahurihi. Drishtancha drishtancha artha yasya karmanaha. Or Yesham Karmanam Tani Karmani Drishta Drishtarthani and then Teshu Drishta Drishtar Teshu Karmasu Sanjanam Association unto Karmas which are for the purpose of Drishta and Adrishta or which have their object as Drishta and Adrishta that Sanjana association is what Sanjana is what Sanjana is a word which is explanation for Sangha. Sangha is Sanjana. With uh, Sangha is another Pratyanta where Sanjana is Ludanta. It's an explanation given. That is Karma Sangha. Karma Su Sanjana is Karma Sangha. Meaning what? Tatparata. Commitment to that Karma. Because you want the results. Tena Karma Sangena Nibadnati. Who? Rajas. What is that binds? Raja, whom does it bind? Dehinam. So that is the seventh verse. We will see more in the next part. Huh? Tamas will see in the next part. Tamas onwards. Narayana Paravirta Dandam Avyakta Sambhavam Andasyanta Stumi Loka Saptad Dvipa Chamedini. Any questions? I just need a clarification from you, don't mind. Um, on the sattva aspects, right? We we're talking about sukha sangha. Um, so, is this coming more from prarabdha? 
no, i didn't get the question i'm sorry uh, i'm talking about what uh, in sattva sattva guna hmm. we're talking about sukha sanga right yeah sukha sanga yeah so is that coming from prarabdha uh, all sukha comes from prarabdha really see uh, sukha and dukha are due see what is the sharira for jiva takes the sharira for bhoga bhogayatanam shariram hmm. bhogayatam shariram which is that stula sharira stula sharira is defined as bhogayatam it is an abode hmm. for bhoga what is bhoga sukha dukha bhoga sukha hmm. dukha na bhogayatanam stula sharirum and sukshma sharir is what bhoga sadhanam bhoga yeah. is possible through sukshma sharira because sukha dukha manifest in the antakarana so you need sukshma sharira for that sukshma sharira is already there but it is mm-hmm. a means for sukha dukha but being a means is not sufficient you need to have an abode to house the means also correct thereby sharira is given so Sastula, all of this is prarabdha driven we have earned this karma uh, sorry earned through karma we have earned sukha and dukha which are due hmm. thereby we get janma now in this janma also we can get more and more sukha possibly by the karma but we don't hmm. know when it will manifest we all try uh. so that we get more sukha however this karma giving you know some karma that i do giving me immediate sukha may be possible it may be an effect of the earlier karma also however even if it is possible now it is because it is due now so it will be manifest through prarabdha itself yeah okay no but my just my confusion is when you're talking about sukha sangha under sattva but you're also talking about karma in rajas right but of course i understand that's more related to raga and uh, the karma part yeah, see rajas will rajas will bring about uh, bring about karma this yeah. karma once one does then one will earn punya papa which right. goes in the account as sanchita will be carried out as prarabdha, prarabdha. for in the, the janma whereby hmm. sattva will manifest when sukha is due oh, okay okay so uh, for dukha we'll see what happens dukha dukha <laughs> actually uh, sukha and dukha both are driven by prarabdha which we yeah. which are driven by so raga will lead to karma which will lead to punya papa in that punya papa sukha when it is due then sattva will manifest mm. in the particular janma in a particular time it will manifest in the antakarana then yeah. it will make sukha bhoga possible sukha sure. sangha yeah. then yeah. once i am uh, i am sukhi so sukha sangha is not may not be due to prarabdha prarabdha but okay. sukha manifestation is due to prarabdha then sangha is due to avidya yes yeah sangha is due to avidya sukha being available is due to prarabdha that is why there are people they, in fact that's why tapas right we mm-hmm. hold on to even uh, we deny sukha also so right. as soon as you uh, you know enjoy the sukha then you you know you are exhausted that yeah, the bond yeah it is gone so mm-hmm. it will not come back again so we have already consumed the unit so people like to preserve yeah, you know it's it's good to preserve even if it is available you deny yourself a little a little is okay but not the extreme so people follow that as well as sadhakas yeah yeah makes sense okay thank you namaste. anything else anyone else okay, only two today okay namaste namaste hari om